this is just a super duper helpful way to help you stay on top of things going on in your life. Hi guys. So first of all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ro. And second of all, I'm sorry about how dark it is in here. I have to film this on my computer because I want to walk you guys through something. So although I have like 55 bright lights in my face, it always films dark on my computer. So I apologize for the quality. But what I'm filming for you today is a tutorial. So a couple of days ago, I went on Instagram stories and I was talking about something that showed up in my Google alerts. And in there, I said that I think anybody that is involved in our community or really anybody at all should have Google alerts set up for important things in your life. What Google alerts are is you can set up uh, through your email an alert for a keyword for anything involving anything in your life that is important to you. So for example, because I own this business, because I used to compete in fitness, I have Google alerts set up with my name and then anything on the internet that comes up with my name in that article or in that whatever post on the internet, it, it does not include social media like Facebook, but articles or anything like that, and you have a choice of the sources that you add, that will deliver an email directly to my inbox so I can check it and see what's up. So for example, if you have a loved one who's inside, you can put their name. So any articles that come up about them, um, especially if it's a high profile case and you have children and you want to protect them and you want to stay on top of that stuff or notify schools because something like that is, you know, is, is happening and it could be a potential, the kids could bully them. So you, I set those up so you know, or what I have, cause we don't have kids, um, is I have Google alerts set up surrounding things involving legal information around his case. So for example, the law, the statute that Adam is sentenced under is called 924C. It is a mandatory minimum sentence that is attached to his underlying crime. So what I have is, because it's such a harsh statute and it creates these crazy longer than life sentences, we're trying to get it overturned. And I'm working with organizations and Congress, you know, is starting to get involved like with the First Step Act. They're starting to change litigation. Cases are coming through the Supreme Court. So I will set up Google alerts surrounding things like 924C, mandatory minimum sentences, um, and then also the names of those Supreme Court cases. So for example, I posted a couple videos ago about uh, a case that could potentially get Adam time served and we're very early on. We are not even close to out of the woods yet with that one, but we're waiting for a decision. So I set up, and that case is called U.S. vs. Davis. And if you're interested, I'll post it in the cards above. But what we're doing is the Google alert is set up so anytime anything about that case pops up in Google, I will get a notification. This way, every day, all day, I'm not frantically Googling, waiting for a decision. What I'm doing is breathing, and if something pops up online about it, I will get a notification directly to my inbox, and then I'll know to go look, and it'll be a link right to that article. So what we're gonna do today is I'm going to walk you through how to set that up for yourself. So if anything legal, anything surrounding your loved one's name, which I encourage you to do, your own name, your children's names, and then also I do it for girl things. Like there is a Victoria's Secret wire-free bra that I am obsessed with and I love, and I've shared that in my best wire-free bras for visit video, and I'll post that above as well. So because it's on the more expensive side for that bra, it's like a $40 bra, which I guess it's average for a bra, but I'm not paying that. I will set up a Google alert for um, Victoria's Secret sales. Oh, or you know, when I was in the market for my new vlogging camera, I there was one particular camera. I did a lot of research. There was one that I really wanted. It's a very expensive camera. So I set up Google alerts. So anytime anything around that camera comes out, 
is, is posted a sale, a how-to, um, maybe if something better is coming out by that brand and they state the name of that camera in the article and they said it's even better than XYZ camera, then I will get a Google alert. It is so super helpful. I don't want to keep talking about it, but I'm just giving you ideas on what to set them up around. Let's say you have um, an autoimmune disease and you're just diagnosed or a mental health condition and you're just diagnosed and you want to learn about it or you want to know the new science that pops up about it put that in your google alerts like i have a really dear girlfriend who has fibromyalgia so something she could do is just put fibromyalgia in her google alerts and then because there's going to be tons of stuff on the internet about fibromyalgia or maybe bipolar disorder or mandatory minimum sentence is so broad i have that set up you might not want stuff every single day so you have the option to set it set up the frequency for how often you get these emails and if you get them in one long email digest um and anyway i said i'm not going to keep talking about it i'll just show you so let's do that give me one second to share my screen and okay then, so here we are in a fresh browser window. What you want to do is sign in through Gmail. You are going to need a Gmail address to do this because um, it is, it's a Google product, so it's connected to their version of email, which is Gmail. I already have a Gmail address. I am not going to talk you through um, how to do this because literally if you just go to gmail.com, you will they will give you steps and just follow the prompts to set up a Gmail address. So give me one second. Let's sign in. Okay, so that took you to my inbox, but I just clicked off of the screen because you guys don't want to see my messy, <laughs> disgusting Gmail inbox that I don't clean out often enough. So now we're just going to go to Gmail. I'm sorry, we're going to go to google.com backslash alerts. Okay, and it's going to bring you to this screen for Google alerts. So you could see the alerts that, are, that I already have set up. Um, because my organization is around um, prison wives, I have prison relationship, prison wife, prison wife, prison wives, my name, and then my Gmail address. I don't know if my Gmail address was automatically in there. The reason why I have all that information in there is because if my organization is mentioned in an article, which has happened quite a few times, I will, through those Gmail, through those Google alerts, I will get those sent directly to my inbox and I don't constantly have to look. And honestly, I don't even know why I would think to look, but this has helped me because I can see things going on in my field and I can also see when my organization or my name is named um, in an article or in anything online. And then if you scroll down, they have suggestions for you. So if you like music and if you like different bands, if you like, if you're interested in politics or certain TV shows, sports um, or certain news, entertainment, science, etc. you can get alerts about that. So let's say that your loved one is a fan of some specific sports team. Maybe you shouldn't tell them that you can do this, but let's say during football season, they want you to just send all of the information about, let's say, the New York Giants. So you can do um, set up that sports alert and then you will get that right to your email box and you don't have to waste time Googling it. So let's walk through setting up the alert itself. Like I said before, the statute that Adam is sentenced under is called 924C. So, so well, to make it easy, we're gonna set it up here to show you guys. So you're just gonna type in whatever the um, information is that you want the alert about, typed it in, and then you're going to, let's just see what the options are. How often? So at most once a day you could do it as it happens so for things like the supreme court decision um which you know i would type in here u.s versus johnson or johnson i'm sorry u.s versus davis johnson is a couple of years old then i would want it as it happens because if they're announcing a supreme court opinion or a decision i want to know that in real time something like 924c or mandatory minimum sentence you might only want that once a week because it might start getting overwhelming for you or sports stuff or that kind of stuff you might only want it once a week but let's just say for, for sake of this let's do it as it happens so anytime an article is posted in real time you will get this sometimes there is a delay and I'll get it hours or a day after but um, it is pretty accurate for most of the time and then sources can be you name it it could you know if you just want news and you don't want people's personal blogs uh, you might just want to pick the ones that you want um, you know, you might like, you might want to pick everything except for blogs, but you have to remember for some legal blogs is where I get a lot of Adam's legal information. 
because there are really good um, legal blogs and sources out there from law professors that are right on top of it and give you a synopsis of the legal stuff. So it's it's said in a way that you can really understand and digest because law is difficult to read. Um, so let's just say automatic, which is all of them. You could select the language that you want. They have all languages. Uh, it defaults because I'm in the USA to English. Um, region, so you could do any country that you want. Of course, for me, it defaults to the, the country that I'm in, which is the United States. Oh, I didn't pick it. I want to pick that. And then how many? So you can either let Google choose the best results for you, or you can do all results. And then, so let's do only the best results. And then the email address that you want it delivered to, which is obviously the email you're signed into now. So uh, let's say create alert. And then it is right down here to um, where you edited it before. Now, I wanna add something. Whatever you put in here, so let's say, um, like I said before, Victoria Secret Sale, right? That's an alert I have set up in one of my personal accounts. So what happens is Google reads each of these words separately. So I will get emails about anything going on at Victoria's Secret. I will get emails about how they're, they stopped selling their bikinis, how they might bring their bathing suits back, how the company is struggling, how they might be going out of business, how this model did this, like things that I don't care about or I don't have time to read because these are specific keywords. But if you want um, the whole entire thing, I just want alerts about a Victoria's Secret sale, what you're going to do is you're going to put these in quotes so this way, that's telling Google, you want them to only send you results that with these, this keyword phrase, not these individual words and these words in this order. Okay. okay. So this is where you'll find your Google alert. I'm in my Gmail inbox right now, and you could see it just comes in from the email address. The name of it is Google Alerts. It's obviously a no reply email. So let's click right into it so I could show you what it looks like. You could see this one only had um, one, but the word prison wife was in there. So it was, e what you'll see is if there's more than one, it'll come, it'll show with this, can this homelessness be solved? And then the next one underneath it will be also in blue. So this is a clickable link and that will take you, it'll take you right to that article to read. So this is just a super helpful way to help you stay on top of things going on in your life, with your loved one, with their case, and with anything that you can think of that you need to stay on top of and be notified all the time, or anything that you find yourself Googling in incessantly over and over again and kind of finding stress about it. This is so helpful. It could be in your career, in your field. It could be, again, with your children's names. But what I really hone in on is my loved one's name and things that have to do with me and my organization. You guys, let me know in the comments below if this helped you and what areas of your life you think setting up Google Alerts will help you so we can all learn from one another. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay strong, and keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to it all being behind you. Lots of love from my heart to yours. I will see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one.